Are you old like me and have a hard time figuring things out? You're in the right place because when I first started playing Starfield, I was like, I'm going to pick up all the things that I find in the universe and I'm going to place them in my ship or in my home. And then when I did that, I found out that you can pick items up and you can move them around, but I could not for the life of me figure out how to rotate and do all the things that I wanted to do to fully place the items. And there's no in-game tutorial. This is the frustrating part, because uh, Bethesda, I love your game to death, but my god, do some of the little things need tutorials. So. I can't take credit for learning out how to do this. Um, this was literally me going down a rabbit hole at like three o'clock in the morning. I'm on TikTok scrolling and somebody had a video that popped up on like how to move in place. And I'm like, what? So I watch the TikTok and then I get up and I go get some coffee and I get on my PC and I look up some articles and I find a whole bunch of deep dives into this. And that led to some YouTube videos and everything else. And finally I found somebody whose video resonated with me and I was it was like the fifth copy or something. I don't know who originated with this, but uh, this is my version, which is very rudimentary on how to move, place, rotate uh, objects in the game to decorate your home, to decorate your ship. And as I understand it, this might be different, because I haven't gotten into the outpost building section of this, so if the outpost version of this is different, um, I think it is. Let me know in the comments below if that's true. I think there's a different menu that pops up when you're in your outpost as opposed to in one of your homes, or at least based on what I've seen from my ship in my home on Constellation, in the Constellation room in the lodge. Um, this is how I know how to do it. So let me shut up and actually get into the game because we all want to see this in action. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams at 11 a.m. Central Time. There's my beautiful character. Don't forget, we have lots of other things we do here on the channel, so check out the playlists. Join the Discord, links are down below. And here I have a smattering of objects that I literally just dropped on the floor and abandoned because I could not figure out how to do <laughs> rotation. And this is primarily important for these coffee mugs because they have cool little things that they say. And so I wanted to, I was picking up these coffee mugs going, I'm gonna place these in, on my desk and stuff. Who the hell's in my bed? Barrett, dude. What? He's got his own room here at the lodge and he's sleeping in my bed. Uh, whatever. Alright, so the first thing you need to do, I'm on the controller. Um, I don't know how to do this on the uh, PC mouse and keyboard. So this guide is specifically, it'll probably have in the title somewhere, you know, Xbox Series X controller. Um, to hold, you know, to pick up an object, you hold the A button. So if you just wanted to pick it up, you would hit A and it would automatically just put it in your inventory. But if you want to move it around, you got to hold down the A button. And that creates this as a movable object. Now, again, I am not very good with this. So I'm just learning how to do this and putting this video out sort of as a, hey, like, guys, look how I just, have, I just learned how to do this. Um, so once you have an object, I wish you could pull it closer to you like uh, it would be awesome to have a button that let you like pull it in or push it out to a little fine-tune the placement um, so it is finicky because if you go over here and you run into an object that has physics on it like a collider um, it well up oh, did you hear it? it it it's clanking around on stuff you can see it kind of turns a little bit um, not great but you know it's hitting things, right? So it's not perfect, and if you're not careful with this, you can lose it behind things, um, I've learned. Anyway, once you have it selected and picked up and you're moving it around like this, I did figure out how to rotate things, right? So you hold the R trigger or the left trigger, right trigger, le left trigger. But I was like, that's not helpful because there's gotta be a way to do, like, is it the, are, is it the bumpers? It's not the bumpers, because the bumpers just bring up my scan and all this other stuff. So apparently what it is, is, on your left thumb stick, apparently there are three axes of movement or rotation, and you can toggle those three axes. Is it axis or axes? I think it's axis. I don't remember. You could toggle each axis with the just by clicking the left thumb pad. Don't pull it down. Don't push it up. Just click it, and it'll change the uh, axis of rotation. So in this case, you know, I'm. It looks like I'm rotating it in this direction. I don't. I don't know my graphs and stuff, so I don't know. It's rotating like this, and then I click that button, and now it's rotating like this in a slightly different way. And I click it again, and now it's rotating like this. 
So that is still not perfect, but at least I understand it now because now I can go, okay, cool. So I actually, I want to put this up over in here. I want to put this on the table and I want this to be visible um, to people when they walk in the room. So let's kind of maybe see if I can find like, like that looks cool. Let's turn it this way. Is there anything on this side? Um, yeah, because I, I, I want that handle because I'm right handed. So the handle needs to be on the right. Right. So I'm just going through the various axes right now. Um, And saying okay that might work right there oh there we go so now here's the placement thing the placement thing is tricky as well because um, if you don't get it right it'll fall on the ground and things will happen to it so if I'm happy with this I'm gonna slowly move it down until it hits the surface that I want to place it on and then here I could just hit a again and it'll drop it and it should settle onto the surface uh, uh, upon which I placed it. Now, if I'm not happy with that placement, I can come back in here and hit that A button again and just drag it along that flat surface. And this makes it a little easier to manipulate because it's actually already on the surface. So I could, you know, I can kind of come in here and finagle with it here and say, I like it here. Let's actually bring it back. Let's drop it there. Now, it almost fell over. Do you see that? You see that shiznizzle? <laughs> Oh, and then I took it. I forgot to I forgot to hold down the A button. No, this is what I'm talking about when I'm not very good at things. Um, so we'll drop that. Um, I'm still learning the controls. And and by the way, I lost this book. I haven't figured out how to get back to this book yet because I chucked it too close to the safe, and it'll only let me. I can only target the safe because the hit box on the safe is so big. So uh, we'll be figuring that one out later. Um, but I've got some, like, this I wanted to place. So let's see if I can get this one figured out over here. Um, so we're going to pick it up first and foremost. Kind of get it over here. Quick commercial break, everyone, to give a shout out to our first official guild officer, Bubblonia, as well as all of the guild champions, and of course, all of the members who help keep me on the air full time. To join as a member, simply click that join button below and pick your tier, but you can also support with super chats on any live stream or premiere or super thanks on any upload or YouTube short. Don't forget the Discord. Let's get back to the video. All right, and now I'm going to attempt to rotate. Probably need to rotate it like this. Okay, that's close. So now I need to lift it up high enough, get it to where it's on the surface. Oop, 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 there we go. Oh, and then I knocked that over. See what I mean, guys? I'm not very good at this yet. <laughs> All right, that's placed. Let's try to fix our sealed cocktail mixer, everybody. Um, Cause I didn't mean to knock that down. Let's put this back over and place it down. Did I get it? Oh, 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 it's kind of funky. Oh, I picked it up again. Oh, I failed. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, this is me figuring out how to place items in uh, Starfield, and it's, it's hilarious. It is a learning process for sure. Um, I, I am not very good at it yet, but I am getting better. And I tell you what, um, the big thing about this for me is being able to, uh, I haven't got a ship yet that has all the things that I want in terms of, um, like bunks and berths and things. So I'm still on the lookout for that, but I at least could start decorating my constellation room a little bit better here at the lodge. Uh, with these little things because I've found lots of cool little lamps and books which I've been chucking on the ground here decks of cards coffee mugs there's a baseball thing like we could you know put that somewhere like on a shelf do I have a shelf I totally have a shelf right here so let's just let's finalize this by putting this on a shelf here next to that digi frame 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like is a pretty good primer on how to move place uh, and, you know, rotate objects in your home from a beginner like myself. Um, I just figured this out this morning after the rabbit hole that I went down at like three o'clock in the morning. So hope you liked it. If you did like subscribe to that bell icon so you never miss an update daily streams at 11 a.m. Central Time. Check out the discord links down below and all the other playlists. See you next time, folks.